Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Doc Ian, and it's time again for a DVD review. This time a DVD of painting instructions from uh, Dark Sword Miniatures and it's called Masterworks Miniature Painting with Jen Haley and Anne Forrester. It's a set of three DVDs, they're DVD 9s and they total about 10 hours of film. It, the set costs about $50 from the Dark Sword Miniatures website. And I'll show you the contents. It has, as stated, three discs and a little slip of paper with the contents on it. I thought, let me take this out. This is a, a good reference to have while talking about it. What is this set composed? Well, let me let me um, first answer the most obvious question. Is it worth the money? Is it worth your time? Uh, yes, it is. Definitely. Depending on who you are. Uh, the second question is, of course, who is it for? And it... I, I would take issue with the copy here on the back a little bit. It says, learn the basic techniques to sound miniature painting and then build upon these from miles and miles. Yeah. It makes it sound like this is a set that the absolute beginner could pick up. But I would actually take issue with that. I, I would say no. If you're an absolute beginner, you need to pick up something like... Uh, like uh, the set from AG Productions that I reviewed some weeks back and learn the very most basic techniques because Jen and Anne uh, they do explain some basic techniques but quite a lot of time they just take the basics as read they assume that the viewer knows certain things and then they go on to the more advanced versions of them so what this is is an intermediate set it's th these are instructions if you know the 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 most basic stuff already and you've mastered that and you're ready to move on and you're ready to do ver variants of the basic techniques or or some things that are usually called more advanced techniques then you need this set and if you if you're at that level it's possibly the best set of DVDs I've come across so far for you I'm, that's very high praise, but it is a really, really excellent set. So, let me get into, uh, in more detail, the contents. Now, technically, there's nothing to comment on, really. Uh, the, the picture quality is fine, and the sound is fine. I, I was a little surprised the lack of a play-all option. Whenever you, you can only play one chapter at a time, and then it kicks you back to the menu. But, you know, I suppose... Uh, you would seldom watch the whole DVD straight through anyway. It, I, I know doing that sort of thing tends to put me to sleep, you know. It's, it's more reasonable to go in and just watch a certain section and then try out that technique. Mm, but anyway, for the purposes of the review, I had to watch through the whole thing, more or less. Uh, well, in a couple of goes. I couldn't watch 10 hours in one day. That I would have been really really uh, uh, tiring anyway the fact that there are two painters giving instructions is actually very helpful because you get two versions of main techniques and you get um, differences in what sort of tools to use uh, and and how to go about certain things and it illustrates a point that they make early on, uh, on the first DVD actually, that there is no one true way in miniature painting. You have to find your own style. Um, now, if you, look, if you take it DVD by DVD, if you take DVD 1 for example, after the introduction, there is a good deal about, uh, as it says, prep and assembly, uh, removing bases, sucking materials, a, a very good section about lighting and magnifiers, which is something not a lot of people talk about, the importance of good light, and the fact that there is no shame in um, 
having weak eyes and needing needing magnification. Uh, I, I I use a magnifying glass myself, for example. And uh, Jen Haley, for instance, paints with one of those optivisors. There is some very basic color theory, and some 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 very quick coverage of of shading and highlighting. The best part of this is a section about how to mix your own washes. Um, there's also in the materials section there is a good discussion of different styles of sculpture, which is uh, something perhaps not many miniature gamers and painters think about, but I, I find it interesting. There is a little bit of um, bias towards Reaper's paints, <laughs> because Anne is the person who is responsible for mixing them, so, and Jen likes to use them as well. So, so, um, you will, all the examples will be given, almost all the examples will be given using Reaper Master Series paints, but that's to be expected. There's nothing strange about that. Now, if we move on to disc two, uh, they talk a bit about terminology in miniature painting. This is good because I find quite often when watching videos online and even reading books, people tend to use certain terms in different ways, and it annoys me. I'm being an academic myself, I like to define terms exactly. Yeah, I suppose we will never get everyone to agree to use uh, terminology the right way, but but uh, listening to an introduction like the one Jen and Anne give here is is a good step towards towards um, uh, regulating your use of language a little bit about this. Now it also goes over things like, as it says here, washes, glazes, and wet blending. Uh, which are the main techniques both Jen and Anne use? They use different types. Of, uh, Jen likes to use mainly glazes, and and um, Anne uses a lot of wet blending. That's that's just a, a rough approximation of their techniques. But the thing that's most interesting to me about this section is that they show a type of wet blending with a single brush that I had not seen before. I'm used to two brush wet blending, but this technique you take two shades of color in the same brush and you apply them both with one stroke. That was, um, uh, that, that seemed like a really really advanced technique to me, but I suppose it's just a matter of practice. I, I haven't gotten around to practicing it yet, but one of these days, one of these days, um, they use, show different techniques for armor and weapons, like colored metallics, they, how to mix normal paints into metallic paints, for example. They do not show any, um, their metallics, which they demonstrate here, are, are all non-metallics, non-metallic metal. Um, Mostly, uh, 90%. And that's interesting because that's in, most people would consider that a more advanced technique, so it's good they have a tutorial on it. And here, But here's an example of why I don't consider it a, a really basic DVD set, because when it comes to true metallics, they only t mention it. They have no demonstration, no, no in-depth uh, tutorial on how to paint with ordinary metallic paint. They just go, they mention it and go pretty much straight into uh, non-metallic metals. And that's what, one of the reasons I think this is a slightly more advanced, um, up towards intermediate level. Uh, they have interesting uh, effects for cloth, especially textured cloth like jeans and uh, very sheer, transparent fabrics like uh, the dress on, on Cersei Lannister here, for example. They show you how to do that, which is interesting. Now in the final DVD, we have some uh, very useful tips on um, hair. 
and feathers, but hair is more common. Most miniatures have hair, not all have feathers. When it comes to lighting, they talk about OSL. They, they call it other source lighting. The, the, the most uh, common way to read that acronym is, is object source lighting, but, but they say other source lighting. And, and I, I suppose that is to... Um, um, to to point out that object source lighting is is if you want to be exact is if there is an object in the as a part of the miniature that is the source of the light other source lighting means it could the, the light could come from beyond the miniature you could have an imagined light source that is not the sun you can imagine that the miniature is standing in front of a fire for example even though you haven't modeled so anyway, there's also, um, but but here, here's one of the sections where, where things get confusing for me because when they're showing the OSL, uh, they, one of the more common, one of the examples is for example, for this here, the, uh, the glowing sickle cast, it's casting a little bit of light onto the uh, clothing around it. And they go through how to do that, but I'm the the explanation is a bit unclear because the demonstration doesn't seem to have anything to do with the colors on the finished miniature. It seems to me that the demonstration might simply be about where to apply the glaze for 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 the OSL, not exactly how, but I'm not sure. It, if it is supposed to be how, then they're not showing the entire process. They're simply blocking out uh, the beginning. Uh, I, some some more explanation of the intention of this section would have been nice, because it it does confuse me a little bit. But it's inspiring, and and it, I'll have to experiment on my own. Uh, and they do give two examples. One, one is this example where where the the um, the object is close to the body, and the other example is another miniature where the light is further away from from the miniature. Uh, the freehand painting is uh, only demonstrated through one tattoo, but they do have some you know general comments uh, that are useful. Uh, the difficult colors are covered. And, and how to how to uh, accomplish those. Uh, the section about dings, breaks, and shipping is also kind of unique in my experience. I've never seen that before on a DVD. So how to package something to ship it. <laughs> That's get, getting tips about that is unusual. And um, and how to fix damage if if it's dinged or broken. How do you uh, you know uh, repair it? with a minimum amount of uh, fuss and and uh, so it doesn't show up as well. And that's it. Those are the contents. So, now I've gone through all, uh, pretty much everything that's in here and I give you my recommendation. I, I did gave my recommendation at the beginning, in fact. Now, Dark Sword Miniatures have two other DVD sets in this series, each of them longer than the previous one. I mean, the one, uh, the second one, so to speak, in, in the series is, I believe, 13 hours, and the final one is 20 hours. So uh, it's going to take me a little while to get to reviewing them, but I will. I, I, I do own those DVD sets as well. I just got to find time to watch them. And, and think about them and write something down to uh, comment on. But anyway, as I said, this DVD set with Jen Haley and Anne Forrester comes highly recommended for me. I mean, I, I have only begun to scratch the surface of the techniques they teach here so far. I, I definitely, there's stuff here that I need to practice a lot more, like the uh, like NMM and, and the wet blending and uh, all that stuff. So, I hope this review was useful to you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. And 
I will see you in my next video, I hope. Until then, this is Doc Yan, signing off.